and give us a quick overview. We are now live on a WAMDA face-off with Ahmed Hatib on the left here, um, the CEO of Marka VIP, the region's largest flash sales site focusing on luxury goods. And in the middle we have Ronaldo Mushuar, the CEO of Soup.com, the region's largest online retailer with a variety of um, verticals. How are you guys? Very good. Hey Nina, how are you? Excellent. Um, so today we're just going to be focusing on discussing challenges in e-commerce in the Middle East and North Africa. Um, let's just kick off first with you guys. Can you each, in basically 30 seconds, of how you started the company and how it's been going to date? Sure. Uh, I guess we'll start with you, Ahmed, because you're on the left. Okay, perfect. Uh, hey, everyone. Hope everyone is doing uh, well. It's really exciting to be on uh, this uh, Wanda live broadcast, uh, I guess, for the first time with the uh, face off. Uh, so, definitely good times. Um, and congratulations to Ronaldo for the uh, $40 million uh, funding from uh, NASPERS. That's definitely exciting for the people. Uh, in terms of uh, Marka VIP, I mean, I, I've, I've told the story uh, multiple times. Uh, I'm an executive that came uh, from Philippine Valley, where I spent uh, around uh, 14 years uh, working for e-commerce companies and online companies uh, in, in San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, uh, I wanted to do something uh, uh, you know, more entrepreneurial after having spent all this time in the Valley, and so I decided to come back um, uh, to the Middle East. Uh, where I noticed that there's a huge app a huge demand uh, for, for e-commerce. Uh, and then we, we launched Marka VIP in uh, November 2010. Uh, today we, we have 2.2 uh, million members and we're adding around five, five to 6,000 members uh, uh, a day and we're, we're growing uh, significantly uh, month over month. And it's definitely very, very exciting times for us. So hello everyone, uh, really excited to be here. Uh, my story is a bit different. Uh, my dad is a merchant, I'm an electrical engineer, so soup and electronic engineering, I thought e-commerce uh, would be an interesting, uh, as Ahmed said, an opportunity in the region. Uh, I also studied in the US, worked for a management consulting firm, it was very exciting, a lot of challenges. But at one point, we felt uh, I felt like I wanted to come back to the region. And when we started Souk early on, we really e-commerce was at its infancy. So we figured if e-commerce is still growing and it's small, let's build a platform. So it's not only an opportunity for the company to grow, to grow, but also to have uh, others sell on the platform. So we actually started Souk as a platform for people to trade on the internet. And as the company progressed, uh, we have now a formidable marketplace business. We're the largest in the Middle East, as well as we retail certain channels. Today, Sue gets about 9 million visits a month, about 4 million uniques to come to the website every month. We have a variety of 200,000 products. Uh, uh, the differentiation between a deal site and Sue.com is that every item you get on Sue is always a deal, and you can search for the deal, and you can always get it at a good price. So we're always uh, better in pricing because of the economics of e-commerce, really, in terms of retail. Thank you, guys. So I noticed you just threw out a couple of metrics there um, about your user base and your visits. Um, are there any metrics you can share in general on how large each of the platforms is today? Um, well, I mean, in terms of Marka VIP, we're happy and open as always to share uh, metrics, of course, if it makes sense. Uh, uh, we're growing uh, in the region. We're adding a lot of members. Uh, uh, we're about 350,000 visits uh, a day, uh, which is quite significant. Uh, <coughs> we're growing very fast in, in, uh, in markets where e-commerce hasn't been proven and, uh, let's say, hasn't, hasn't been sustained by a lot of uh, existing e-commerce companies. So Lebanon and Jordan are very big for us. Uh, 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 for example, on um, uh, let me just my LJ Metrics platform here. Uh, so <coughs> the average cost, the average customer uh, on Marka VIP places uh, close to some uh, in, the, in their lifetime. 
which is quite significant. Um, uh, for us, that's a clear indication uh, uh, that people are uh, demanding more and more good deals and good products uh, on market VIP, and, and the upside for e-commerce is, is ever increasing. So uh, we believe that the market is, is, is very, very large. Um, um, we're certainly in our infancy stage in terms of uh, opportunity. Uh, so um, um, yeah, I mean, again, uh, we we were happy to share any information when it's uh, when it's relevant and, and uh, when it makes sense. Um, um, and yeah, if you have any other specific questions, um, our mother is a bit different. We operate more locally in the markets we operate in. Uh, so we are present today in in four markets. We have a very large presence in the GCC, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, as well as Egypt for us has been growing really strong. Our Alexa ranking, if you look at our all our sites, are in, in the top 15 in the UAE. I think we're 12 or 10 uh, continuously. We're in the top 10 between all the global sites, basically. So we're probably one of the most visited local site uh, in uh, Egypt we're number 35 so in terms of ranking our Facebook fan page in Egypt has more than 450,000 members uh, about 200,000 SKUs uh, we sell on the site uh, so what's interesting about Souk is uh, we've seen quite a bit of diversification of categories early on our focus was a lot more on electronics I think we're better than retail and electronics with maybe 50,000 different unique products that a person can buy. You probably can walk into any particular store and be able to find that kind of selection. But recently, actually, we acquired also Sukkar, which is like Marka VIP, a flash sale model site. Uh, Ahmed knows it very well, as well as uh, a sports vertical. So we've kind of diversified away from just being an electronic site to a lot more uh, lifestyle categories. We've just recently launched with fashion. So we're seeing now a mix where our buyers buy electronics, buy health and beauty products, buy fashion, um, and it's really exciting. With 9 million visits, so we're, I think we're even locally, uh, from even portals, we're up there in terms of the traffic we get. Uh, users buy about 1.4 items every time they purchase something on Sue. So there's also that cross basket between categories and it's really exciting times. I think the region is going through a big boost in e-commerce. We're investing more. Uh, the, the major players have gotten investment. Uh, our brand really is our ambassador and the service we provide is what we aspire to improve to our customers. And, and I don't think I want to be anywhere else. And it's really cool. I mean, this is it. It's happening now in the region and we're in the midst of it.